Hey, everybody, we're live at Pace Studio right now with Gin Blossoms. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Hey, Brad. Thanks yeah. for the Pabst Blue Ribbon. Yeah, of course, man. There's also a 21st Amendment, whatever this is. I don't know, but it's delicious as well. It's not so watery as that Pabst Blue compete. Ribbon. but Cannot compete. Yeah, and you also, uh, there's no scene in which Dennis Hopper <laughs> screams out, 21st Amendment, the way he does Pabst Blue Ribbon. <laughs> A la Blue Velvet. This place is really cool. Thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you guys for joining us in the tape room. Thanks for doing it in between. Uh, you guys are on, on tour right now, the new Miserable Experience this Live. This is our only day off this 29 week, by the yeah. Way, yeah, so Bowery, you guys sold out Bowery last night. You're going to be at the Paradise Rock Club in Boston tomorrow. Right. And so thanks for doing this on the day off, man. Our pleasure. Um, so you're going to do four songs today, and one of them off New Miserable Experience, and then two from across the catalog, and we've got a cover coming up also. And can you tell us what you're going to do first? Well, we're going to start with Hey Jealousy, you know, hit them hard right out of the box. All right. Ready? Okay. Here we One, go. two. Well, tell me, do you think you'd be all right if I could just crash you out of night? See, I'm in no shape for driving Anyway, I've got no place to go And you know it might not be that bad You were the best I'd ever had If I had blown all the years ago I might not be alone Tomorrow we could drive around this town And let the cops chase us around Best is gone, but something might be found to take You can't trust me not to think And not to sleep around If you don't expect too much from me You might not be the town Cause all I really want's to be with you Feeling like I matter too If I had blown all the years ago I might be here Something might be found to take his place Hey, Jadisee That is the definition of a smattering <laughs> of applause. 
when the mm, amount of people on stage outnumbered the amount of people off stage. That is. Uh, that's the best the three of us could do, though. Thank you guys so much for uh, for uh, playing that song, man. It's uh, and for being here today. This is uh, a somewhat surreal. For I mean, I know so many people know your voice so so well, and this has only happened maybe two or three times in this room. When Taj Mahal came here, I got the same feeling. When Chris Robinson came through, got that same feeling. I'm just a, a voice that I know so so well. I mean, uh, I recall when my my Thank dad you. came home from the warehouse with your guys' CD along with Freddy Johnston's CD. Can you find right, yeah. 1992? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So um, anyway, that's enough of me gushing about this. Um, can we talk a little bit about uh, the connection between you guys and Bill Graham since we're since sure. we're here right now? So we're in. Yeah, we're this. in the Bill Graham archives. It's pretty amazing. It's yeah. really impressive. I'm gonna post. <laughs> and there's, there's one one tape of porn here that has to manage to find. <laughs> I, mean, I wish I could cut to a close up of you right now. That actually is porn. It's a seventy seven porn called yeah. Straight Banana. Yeah, this is really cool. We're gonna we're gonna be posting some pictures of uh, some of these tapes. It's, it's really yeah. Well, and there's stuff there's of a lot of, of history here. You guys too. I don't know if if we talked about this offline. I forget. But there's uh, Solana B- the Belly Up Tavern in '93. There's a uh, Jim Blossom's tape somewhere. Oh yeah, that was on, that was aired on the King Biscuit Flower Hour. What that, that's okay. That's right. Which yep. uh, you can see the poster over there. So. Yep. Um, yeah, we were managed by Bill Graham Management uh, between uh, 91 and uh, 97, and then my other band, Gas Giants, was managed by Bill Graham. So, uh, you know, I worked with them for, I, I was with them for about 11 years altogether. And, um, it, you know, it was, a, it was good. They were professionals, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, and it's, I mean, it's rare that the living history aspect of what's behind us right now actually gets to cross over in such a, such a direct way. Cause as soon as this session wraps, it's going to become part of the same archive that, that you're already a part of. So go, go figure, well, yeah. I, you know, to be up there with the motels and the vapors is going to be really cool. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, uh, thank you guys for coming here and doing this. And so you're going to do four songs today, uh, from across the archive. What's, what's coming up next? Uh, we just dug this one up and it, it's, it's feeling really good. As Bill said, it's like really refreshing uh, to, to play this song. Um, this is from our, our second album. Uh, it's called Competition Smile. Looking up, I saw nothing but blue in the bluest sky. Now it's creeping across my eye. Going down in my mind, down in my mind, I'm high and I'm hopeless. So help me to get untied. Fast asleep, now I'm going blind. Falling down in my mind, down in my mind, just fine. But standing all the while, a competition smile. Now I'm running, not looking and opening up my brain Where it's easy to lose my name Looking dumb in the rain, dumb in the rain I'm hoping you'll notice that no one else helps me grow It's not easy to let you know what I'm dying to show, dying but all you know. We emulate the style, a competition smile. And now I throw something far, and it haunts me like a curse. I'm like a stone falling. Now it's creeping across my eye 
going down in my mind, down in my mind. I'm high and I'm hopeless, so help me to get untied. Fast asleep, now I'm going blind, falling down in my mind, down in my mind, just fine. Pretending all the while A competition smile I'm hiding high I'm hiding sounded great thank you guys thank you um i considered googling this and then decided not to google it and just ask you guys directly about i mean you're a, a arizona arizona band does the the tempiness of you guys i mean did you record everything that you guys did in in tempe does it feel like a, a integral part of what you guys do or is it has it been sort of recorded well, all over the place depending it's certainly, on logistical we made most of our records in memphis tennessee actually okay so uh you know we we were able to sort of participate in that music scene. We went to a place called Ardent Studios, famous joint there in Memphis. Our producer, John Hampton, he had recorded uh, The Replacements and Tommy Keene there. And uh, this, it's the studio that was built for Big Star. So, uh, you know, we, we really wanted to participate in that scene and be a part of that legacy. Um, but certainly in the early days, you know, we, we've... Tempe was a big part of what we are, what we did, and who we are. And uh, you know, I know there's uh, some lyrics that reflect where we're from and all of that. And uh, you know, we take a lot of pride f of about of being from Arizona. It's it really is a wonderful place. It's a, a beautiful state. Is that the uh, is that the case also on mixed mixed <laughs> 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 on. Uh, mixed reality. Do you guys do uh, go to uh, to Memphis to record no, that one? No, no. Our producer John he passed away a few years ago, so we were we decided uh, to go and work with one of our other like big choices for a producer, um, which was Don Dixon. So we went to uh, and Don once he was on board to produce the record, he suggested we go and record with Mitch Easter at his studio in North Carolina. And uh, this took us out of our element, and I think that it was uh, important for this record for us to be doing something sort of different. Uh, if we had gone back to Ardent, we probably would have fallen into our old habits and stuff, and this uh, added a, a level of performance and tension that wouldn't have been there otherwise. And then, of course, we got to work with the dream team of Don Dixon and Mitch Easter, and for, your, for the people who don't know, these are the guys who made the first three REM records. And uh, Dom went on to produce uh, some of our favorite albums, The Smithereens, Marshall Crenshaw, a lot of important stuff. See, and, there's a uh, ton of Marshall Crenshaw right back there. Awesome. Yeah, I, was, I noticed a while ago. And, you know, it, it, when we first got signed, Don was a name that we threw out there to the label as a potential producer. But when they presented, a, they, they were pushing John Hampton on us. And I remember the moment that Jesse told me, this is the guy who made the Tommy Keene record. And then when I put that together with the replacements, I'm like, that, that's it. Let's, we're done. Let's, we're, we don't need to choose anymore. And John became a big part of our group. And uh, for me personally, a, a mentor and a friend and a brother. And I miss him terribly. So. Um, did we um, did we nail a segue into the next song? Are we going to mix? So, yeah. mix are we going to mixed reality or going uh, to the cover yeah, next? Yeah, actually we are. Uh, this is from mixed reality. And, you know, the, it's a song that I, I, I wrote that I... I feel like is something I would have wanted to turn in to the band in 1990. And I think uh, it's the kind of song that sort of connects our early work with what we're doing now. So yeah. okay. it's called Face the Dark.
alone Fight madness on the brink Bite your tongue But the blood's not all you'll drink Not like your mind Sink like the fallen sun And these tears Are the cost of all I've done And time can't wash away Your frozen heart With an ocean in between us We can only row so far And love can only wait for you so long What the hell you thought that heaven Had just covered up the sun And you face the dark And you face the dark It feels so quiet And the stars look different now The months were silent But we made it out somehow You think you're right You've lost Seas that to look back And wish our time was not a bust And time can't wash away Your frozen heart With an ocean in between us We can only roll so far And love can only wait for you so long What the hell you thought that heaven I just covered up the sun And you face the dark And you face the dark Only when you walk alone Behold the night Lost of the world of light Face the dark Great. Cheers. Cheers. Is it so when people go out, when people saw you at Bowery last night, I was not so fortunate as to have been at that show, uh, but when people see you at Paradise tomorrow, when people go see you at any any number of the shows, it's uh, it's wrapping at the House of Blues in Houston on March 9th. There's shows announced, jimblossoms.net, all the way from now until then. Is this a very similar representation of what you guys do on stage, or have you stripped down a bit for... Uh, for oh, well, this is pretty stripped down, and it's, uh, I mean... Normally there would be two electric guitars and a full drum kit with cymbals and stuff. So, um, as far as the the tempo and the energy, it's pretty similar, I guess. But uh, you know, a big big rock show with the smoke machine and stuff is always going to have uh, you know a bigger vibe and a much bigger sound. You yeah. know, this is pretty intimate, <laughs> and yeah. this is about as close as we ever get to each other, even on the bus. Yeah. <laughs> And hundreds and hundreds of people out there versus the lit. Well, it was three, and now it's two sitting on this side of the of the, of the cameras. Uh, well, that freed up a lot of space. <laughs> yeah, we are fifty percent more mobile now. Yep. Um, well, it, dude, it sounds great from out here. Thank you guys for playing these songs here. Uh, and so we've got the, uh, there's a cover coming up next. And you guys have been playing this cover on 
yeah. at least on this tour or for for a long just time for this tour. For this you tour. know, I I, ch- I, ho- I like to switch the cover. We I like to do at least one cover in every show, and um, when we're out on a tour, I like to switch it up and uh, pick something just for that tour. Do you remember? Was it something very specific about what made this one the right the right call for this tour? Um, the only, just the fact that I could talk the guys into it uh, was really it. You know, I mean, I, I, I know I can play on acoustic guitar something like 250 or 300 songs, and so there's there's a bunch of them that I I love to sing more than others. And I had just played this song. I had done a, a guest DJ spot on Sirius XM, who's co-presenting our tour, and I had played this song in that set, and then uh, not too long ago, I, I went on a, a hike, a charity hike with the Love, Hope, Strength Foundation, and I played this uh, one night around the campfire, and everybody really dug it. And so it's just been fresh in my head, and I threw it out there, and the guys just shrugged and said, yeah, why not? And uh, so here we are. All right. So there you go. Green plastic watering can For a fake Chinese rubber plant In the fake plastic That she bought from a rubber man in a town full of rubber plants To get rid of itself It wears her out It wears her out It wears her out Where's around She lives with a broken man A crack polished iron man Who just crumbles and burns
wanted If I could be all you wanted All time All time Thank you guys so much. That was great. Thanks for playing four songs with us today. Hanging out, drinking some paps, blue ribbons, looking at some vintage, vintage pornography, and uh, and playing these songs. We really appreciate it. And best of luck on. Uh, so you're on the new Miserable Experience Live 2019 tour tomorrow night in Boston, and the dates are announced through the end of uh, through the middle of March. And it's all up at JimBlossoms.net. Guys, it sounded great, man. Thank you Thank so much you. for doing Thank this. Thank you for having us. All right. <laughs>